Moving around in a document. Document. Generate random text by doing the following. Type in equals rand open bracket close bracket and press the enter key on the keyboard and that will generate some text for you. If you put the cursor in the middle of the sentence and you hit the delete key on your keyboard a few times you will see that it deletes text to the right of the insertion point also called the cursor. So it deletes to the right. If you press the backspace key what happens it is that it will delete text to the left side. If you put the cursor in the middle of a sentence and you add some spaces by pressing the space bar and then you're going to click the show hide icon and I'm going to zoom in by pressing my control key and moving my uh, wheel on my mouse, the scroll wheel on the mouse and you can see that what happens is that we can see these non-printing symbols so spaces show up as dots when I press the enter key it leaves this non-printing character which it stands for a new paragraph but we call this icon the show hide icon so you can see it tells you it shows paragraph marks so this is like a paragraph mark and other hidden formatting symbols such as as this put the cursor in the middle of a sentence or line and press the home key and what will happen is that the insertion point or cursor goes right to the beginning of the current line not to the beginning of the sentence because if I click on this line and press the home key it just lands here at the beginning of this current line. If you have the insertion point somewhere in a paragraph and you press the end key then the cursor will move to the end of the current line. If you have the cursor down here near the bottom of the page and you press the control key, press the control key, hold it, press the home key, the cursor is going to go to the very beginning of the document. And it's not the beginning of the page because I want to show you I am going to add more text here by specifying that I want 20 paragraphs of text with 20 sentences each close bracket when I hit enter it's going to generate a lot of text and you can see that I am now uh, way down on I can't actually see this because my recording icon is here but I'm way probably on about page 19 so number uh, number 8. So if you put the cursor on some text and you press control home it goes to the very beginning of the document and I'm just going to restore this bit so that I can see what page I'm on here. And when you press control end it goes to the very end of the document. So I'm on page 9 actually. Okay, if you had 20 pages of text and you press control end, it's going to move the insertion point or cursor right to the very end of those 20 pages. If you press the arrow key on your keyboard, the insertion point moves up one line. If you press the right arrow key on your keyboard, the insertion point moves over one letter at a time to the right, moves over one character. If you double click on a word, it will select the word. If you triple click on a word, it will select the entire paragraph. If you move 
the cursor, it's, it looks like an insertion point here when it's over the text, but if we move it over here to the margin, this area here, I'm just going to draw a little shape to show you, this area here is called the margin. We also have a margin across the top of a page. I'm actually going to put the ruler on just to show you that this dark part here is our left margin down here. So if I put my cursor over here, it turns into this white arrow that's on the diagonal. And if I click once, it will select one line. Click once, it will select a line. Also, this mini toolbar uh, pops up with some very common commands. We can also click, hold, and start dragging, and it will select text as you're dragging downward. Number 16, press control plus the A key. And what that will do is it will select all text in the entire document. If you position, okay, so that was 16. If, you, if I click at the beginning of this sentence, and if I press and hold the shift key and press the right arrow, you can see that it selects text. If you have a lot of trouble selecting uh, what you want, this can be a, a very uh, useful skill to, ha to know. Pressing the shift key and the arrows can isolate exactly the text that you want to select. Okay, if you put the cursor at the beginning of a line and press and hold the shift key and then press the end key, it too will select that entire line. If you put the cursor in the middle of a sentence and you press and hold shift key and press the home key, it will then select everything to the left to the beginning of the line. If you have the cursor in the middle of a sentence and you press shift and the end key, it will then select everything to the right until the end of the line. If you have something selected, like a word here, and you type over, start typing, then the new text, as soon as I start to type hello, the H will now replace this entire word, because that's the way it works.